Hey everybody, welcome back to this war of mine. We are on day 17, which is uh, about 16 days longer than I thought we would make it, so pretty happy about that. Um, we did okay. We ended up with finding quite a few things. Uh, we have a pistol now as well. I'm gonna right away send Katja and Bruno. Bruno, I'm gonna send you to eat first and then send you to bed. Um, so we were able to upgrade this bench recently. Now we need some more electric parts to be able to make a lamp, um, which is something we've been working on, but we do have vegetables right now. So truthfully, it could be a lot worse. And, uh, oh, we just got our food from the trap as well. Hold it together, Bruno. I know it's tough, but I'm gonna try to uh, keep, it, keep it going for us. Okay, so this food is kind of self-sustaining. Um, a lot of people were saying that I shouldn't have traded away the fertilizer because um, I could use it in the traps. But, um, I mean, truthfully, the way I kind of look at it is we one food for two food kind of thing, you know? Um, which is netting us one food every time. However, I can see that, yes, the fertilizer just sends us a new food, but if we ever want to uh, get into the vegetable growing... I'm trying to get, like, this self-sustainment thing happening here, and I'm not sure if we're on the right track, or I'm not even sure if we should be focusing on weapons or whatever. It's kind of a tough... It's a really tough call. Um, but I will go ahead and use the fertilizer here. Um, I don't know if that impacts how long it actually takes. That's uh, something I haven't considered. Uh, what do we have in our backpack right now? We have four sugar, so we could maybe make some moonshine. Um, but Bruno is extremely tired. Let's see if I can wake him up to come and do that. Uh, we'll have you just sit and relax. Maybe you check the radio, Marco. Recent sort is prices of cigarettes and tobacco are high. Classical music. Yeah. Famine and disease reign over the ravaged city of Pagoran. Death takes heavy toll due with heavy toll due with no access to food, clean water, and medical supplies. Okay. So people are getting sick. That's fair. Um let's go ahead and use one of our wood pieces here. Marco, have a seat. And let's make some moonshine. We actually have quite a bit of water, which is pretty nice. And Bruno, I'm going to send you back to bed now. You'll pretty much sleep for the whole day. Temperature-wise, we're at 17 degrees, which I think is pretty good. Um, they'll probably start to say something if things go uh, poorly. And let's go over here and grab the water. Now... Let's take a look at what we want to build here. So we could we could build a heat lamp for four electrical parts. We could build a thermal regulator for uh, four electrical parts. And the reason we would build a heat lamp is so that we could upgrade our garden thing. Uh, if we wanted to build a th alcohol distiller, get into creating moonshine and alcohol maybe or just go to alcohol, we could do that with a thermal regulator. It actually doesn't seem like it's too much to actually build. Um, pure high quality alcohol, it's a component for meds and bandages or a bartering item. I'm sure that pure alcohol would be great for people. Um, what else? We've got an herbal workshop, low quality roll up cigarettes. It's kind of a tough call. We could also get another food trap going. If we have two food traps going, then we're pretty much like, I think then that puts us in a really great spot actually. Uh, but what do we really need? What do we- what if we check this bench? Um... Oh, right, we should have... We should have repaired the helmet, but now we're a couple components short. But that's okay, because as long as I don't get it, like, shot at, then we're safe-ish, right? Uh, let's see, we could also... If we upgrade to an advanced metal workshop... We could fix all broken firearms, as well as vests and helmets, and refill empty shell casings. Which would be good. I guess it depends if we really want to get into killing people or not. Um, the way I'm trying to do it is, like, more defensive. But I'm worried about the certain locations where it's, like, high danger. Because, especially where there's snipers, I imagine we just get shot at instantly and then we're dead. 
right? Uh, but if we want to make an advanced metal workshop, we're going to have to build a mixer. So, yeah. Kind of interesting how this is going to play out. I think we might be best going for a thermal regulator um, and the heat lamp, to be honest. That makes us pretty, um, I would say pretty self-sustained at that point. Let's have you sit for a bit. There's really not much else to do. I'm just curious to see if somebody's going to come to the door. Usually that happens between now and kind of like 2 o'clock, if anyone's going to come at all. I One thing I wish we could do is have them talk to each other more often. But um, it doesn't appear to be like something we can actually do. We'll have them go hang out in the treehouse. Maybe that'll keep them happy. It's 1 p.m. Well, if nothing happens by around 2, then I think we'll probably just end the day. Uh, no updated bios. We got few people that are sad. Pavel, maybe heartless. Not so sad. Let's have him just chill. Doesn't look like anybody's coming for the day. And, uh, yeah. Bruno's very tired, so he should be fine if we end the day now. Because, uh, hopefully that simulates till the end. Okay, yes it does. Good. So, we do have Marco and Pavel who are a bit tired, but, um... I'm going to have everybody guard again, and we're going to send out Marco. I'm thinking we could go back to the house um, in the trading area. Lots of food, huge amounts of weapons, possible trade. Yeah, I think that's not bad. And what would we want to take out there? We could maybe do some trading. We pretty much just need, like, components. Food, we're okay for right now. And... Uh, what else? Oh, no, we did make the helmet. What? Did we make the helmet? We must have made the helmet. Okay, cool. I guess we'll take this just in case something bad happens. Uh, oh, it takes up a slot, which is kind of disappointing. Let's take the cigarettes because they did go up. But if we're going to just focus on trading, then we should be bringing uh, Katja. So, you know what? I'm actually just going to just take the helmet. Uh, we'll take this, this, and this, and go out. And we'll just go straight to the house and try and sneak around there. Okay, so this I think is him. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Where the hell did he come from? Whoa. Now, I'm, so there's two people in here. I thought there was only one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm away. I'm away. Hands up. Hands up. We don't have a way of getting there from underneath. Oh, now he's coming back. Oh, my God. We've got the door almost picked. <laughs> Jeez. He's going down. So, yeah, this is not just a single dwelling place here. I really got to be careful because if he catches me, he's probably just going to straight up kill me. That's a nice stock. Or maybe he's in here unannounced as well. Let's be really careful. I think this guy is. Okay. 
Okay, let's take what we can get, I guess. This will get us in down below as well. Nothing. Oh, we are deep in here now, too. I think we've been down here. Yeah, we have. Where's the other guy? Yeah, we can't see. Okay. Now I'll try to get upstairs, but... Can't tell if those are rats or the guy. Oh god. If he comes, you know what, I might even want to just back up here. Okay, I don't think he's coming through here. He's leaving! Or... Did he just lock us in here, maybe? It's possible. Let's go, let's go. It's 3 a.m. already. This is gonna be food, hopefully. Hello. We'll take what we can get now. Yep. Uh-oh, I think they're home. going to be bad. And I have no way out of this bathroom. Oh my god, what have we done? Shit, and there's nothing in there. Okay, he's underneath me. Let's be very quiet. I know, I know we gotta leave, but... Oh my god, he's coming. Okay, I was just going to try to run out there, but... Oh, I wonder if she's going to be okay. That house has a lot of stuff inside. We were raided. Okay, we used up three ammunition to chase them off. Um, we are able to defend ourselves. This is good. Okay, that's not such a bad thing, to be honest. We have some food ready, we just need to cook it, and to do that, we need to use a little bit of our wood. I'm pretty sure we just need to make it 40 days. And by just, I mean a whole 40. <laughs> Bruno's actually doing okay here. Oh, nope, sorry, finish that.
Okay, I'm gonna send her to sleep. Uh, Pavel, come up here and have some food. I know we could bring it to him, but... Okay, let's see if there's any news. It's cool outside. Same old, same old. Classical music. Cigarettes, tobacco are available. Once more, how this exactly came about remains a mystery. Theories include smugglers, corrupt military officials, and foreign aid. Or maybe all of the above. Famine and disease. Okay. Okay, Marco, come on back, brother. He was back, okay. Whew. That's a pretty good haul, actually. Oh, and someone's here. I wish we could help my friends that look so hungry. We were called to a tenement fire. I was still the new one on our team. We just started assembling the hoses when a resident shouted out that there was someone inside. I donned the mask, went in, and carried out a young lady. Long story short, we got married soon after. Her name was Alina. Okay. Oh, slightly wounded. Okay, come in and bandage yourself up. Pavel, I'm gonna put you to sleep. Uh, where's Bruno at? I'm gonna have you cook some more food, please. I'm not gonna burn the books. Man, had, had I been able to do everything over again, I certainly wouldn't have uh, sold all the electrical components. Like, no way. All right, let's see what he's got here. So we have, he has tons of components. We have actually quite a few things. This could be really beneficial for us. Uh, he doesn't have the electrical parts, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab as many components and wood and all this basic stuff as I can for, let's see. Wow, you want a lot of these diamonds, huh? Let's see, is there anything else you would take? Um, sugar? <laughs> I mean, we have some of these shell casings. Oh, he needs, uh... He needs bandages. Yikes. So do we, though. So do we. What about gunpowder? Okay. And if I wanted the wood... Let's fill up a slot here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of this, but... These herbs are something we could probably use, but I think we can use this other stuff more. You know what we could do? Let's try with our diamond and our moonshine. And then maybe we can offset maybe just the diamond with some of the gunpowder, or since I have so many herbs. Yeah, let's do that. Do we want anything else from him? If we do want this, what else? We have moonshine left over. Let's see if we can do more herbs here. All right, we're gonna do that. Thanks, man. Okay, Marco, very hungry. So now, I think I just want to send him back out to that place and see what else is in uh, the top area there. Although, what I might need to do is build some more, um, saws. 
Yeah, maybe we make a couple of these. You just chop furniture or people. I don't know why we would need to chop furniture. Let's have Katja come up to rest. And I could have made just two at the same time, but... Pretty much everything is on hold until we can make or upgrade these tables, right? And it's like electrical components are really, really holding us back right now. And we don't have the sugar. We don't have any filters. We're doing pretty well for food. Let's go check out the little garden. So we can make fertilizer. Um, that I don't really care about right now. We pretty much have all components that we need. We just need electrical stuff. And even if we do, even if we do get enough to make the heat lamp, we don't have enough to actually make the, uh... We would need double, because we need four to actually upgrade the table as well. And then we still need more components, more parts. So I'm gonna have you take a seat, Bruno. And we'll see how Marco is at night here. Okay. So he's still slightly wounded. Um, I might have him try and sleep this off a bit. Maybe what we do is we send out Pavel. Have these two defend. And we'll send Pavel out, yeah. So we could go back here. He doesn't have the same amount of spots, but we weren't even able to fill them, I don't think, last time. Okay, let's go. Now this is looks like the guy who might be going back to his place. And some of these people, I could probably trade like, some of them have different items, and they might need different things. Uh, and I could probably trade from them to each other kind of thing. I hate that I have to lockpick into here every time, though. But now we could go up to, like, the t very top level. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Go through there. Go through there. Don't go up. Yes. Let's close all the doors behind us. Come on, Pavel, let's go. Can I get up here? No, I have to go through here. I don't think he's coming upstairs. No! And I don't think we have a... Oh, maybe through here, actually. Can we jump up through the floor? <gasps> no, don't run! Here we go. I 
I think we're gonna have to go into some high risk areas at some point soon. I'm not gonna risk taking this door down, I don't think, just because it's gonna make a lot of noise. Let's cut this down. Because this is a new area that we haven't been to. The only thing is, I don't really know how to get up top there. Maybe we can't. There is a TV here. Maybe electrical components? Nope. Just wood. Damn. Uh oh. Hey, broken guitar. Hello. Let's take it. Oh god. See, so he's just scavenging. But it looks like we could get up here, but maybe, maybe not. I think it's just completely blocked off. Oh god. We've done something bad. I'm actually gonna have him chase me up here. Oh god, no. This is gonna be bad. Ooh! <laughs> we ran right behind him. Right behind him. Okay, I think we have everything that we could possibly need down here. Right? So let's just get out. I don't think there's anything else in there. Let's not maybe look so sketchy. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, so now we need to go probably to a high-risk area. 